hello youtube welcome back to my channel guys today we're going to build a very interesting project using computer vision so in today's tutorial we're going to build a simple uh, computer vision application that is going to be able to track the position of the different human postures such as the hands the eyes the legs and stuff like that so let me just show you what you're going to do so let me just run the code and then you guys can see what you're going to do so we're just going i've just run the code and you can see uh, this here up here is a, a human right in the in the in the in the in the photograph and you can see that it's tracking the position of the human like where is the hand where is the face where are the legs and where are the dif different parts of the body so this is what you're going to build and you can use this for different projects such as detecting uh body posture you can like detect if a person is present in an image or not you can use uh such a, an uh, a div uh such a, an application to do it or a concept to do it so you can see it's detecting the different and detecting and keeping track of different parts of the human body the hands the eyes the mouth the lips and stuff like that so you can use that to detect motion motion detector or something like that to detect the presence of a human being or something similar to that so this is what we're going to build in today's uh, video and let's not talk much let's get to it so i'm just gonna create this for now so once i have that created uh first of all uh I hope you have been following along with my machine learning series so far using computer vision so in this tutorial we're going to uh, we're going to go ahead and actually use a uh, media pipe as you have been using so far so yeah in the past you have done a couple of projects let me just uh bring this back here so let me just uh i want a document that i want to open up and then we can begin this so i'm just going to open up that document and then we can begin this so um i need to go back and then i'm looking for this file right here so uh we have done object of uh, ocr ca object character recognition and also we have done the hands and now uh, today i'm going to do uh, about uh posture detection and estimation using computer vision so i have these three videos right here these are the videos that to be using for building this application so if you don't have these videos make sure you can get any video that contains a human posture and then you can use that video feel free to use any video of your choice so i'm just going to uh, for now i'm just going to go ahead and minimize this and then we can get coding so make sure that you have you have a uh, 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 media pipe already installed so if you don't have media pipe installed you can go to mediapipe.dev and then you can go and uh, uh, to python and then go to installations and get that installed so great so i assume that you have that already installed so let's get started so i'm um, simply in the folder i'm going to open go ahead and open up my visual studio code so you can see right now it's not opened up so i'm going to open up visual studio code so once i have that opened so let's just wait for video visual studio code to open up and once i have visual studio code open i can begin uh to code so the first thing i want to do uh the first thing i want to do sorry something was just falling off the table the first thing i want to do is uh actually uh okay this let me just close this for now i open the wrong folder okay let me just go back and uh, open the correct folder this time so uh I've opened the wrong folder so this time i'm going to do an ls and i'm going to change my directory into post estimation so once i have that open i can go ahead and open visual studio code this time so once i have visual studio code open up i'm simply going to go ahead and create a file so you can see our resources folder that have the three videos i talked about now i'm going to create a uh, file i'm just going to call it basics.py okay so we're going to use this to build other projects later on in the future but today we're just going over the basics of computer vision so the first thing I, I want to do is go ahead and actually do the inputs so i want to go ahead and say import uh, i want to import cv2 I want to import uh import let me just import uh, let me show you the spelling of import right so import media pipe as uh, mp great so once i have those imported let me just close this i hit the wrong key so let me once i have this imported i can go ahead and actually do the basic import so i'm just uh, basic setup i'm going to say drawing so i'm going to say mp drawing uh drawing as you have been doing in the other videos so mp dot solutions dot solution the solutions dot uh draw utils so i'm going to have a draw utils uh so draw uh drawing underscore utils okay just like you have been doing in the other videos again if you haven't checked the, my other videos on, on, on uh, uh, computer vision kindly go ahead and check those videos out so, okay so once i have that i can just go ahead and say drawing uh drawing underscore style and this is going to be uh mp dot solutions uh dot uh solutions dot drawing style so drawing underscore uh styles make sure to get the spelling of styles right okay also we'll go on the, and import the posture the uh, the the module that you're going to use to detect the human posture so i'm going to say mp uh mp underscore solutions so mp underscore solutions solutions dot uh post okay so this you're going to use this to detect the human posture okay so once we have the basic setup let's go ahead and create an actual 
uh, instance, an actual object to the uh, to the to go ahead and use this. But before we do that, let me just go ahead and actually set up the camera to uh, the the capture object. So I'm going to cv2 dot uh, cv2 uh, cv2 dot uh, video capture. Sorry, video uh, video capture. And I'm going to put in the the uh, the, the 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 part to the file. So I'm going to go in here and provide the part to that file. So I want uh, resources. So I'm going to go into my resources folder. Uh, resources and then I want video let's start with video 3 3.mp4 okay you can use any of these videos if you want uh, but feel free I, I don't have these videos on github because it's a huge file so uh, make sure that you can download any of them I got this one from pixel so you can just go and use pixel and thanks to pixel for that pixel is just a website you can get free uh, images without copyright issues okay so once I have that done I'm going to go I'm just going to go into a while loop and then I'm say while uh, success uh, image while well, Sussex and image I'm going to see do capture dot read okay and then I'm going to check if it's successful so this is going to read if the uh, each frame from that video that you have specified here and it's going to store if it's the whether it was a successful read or it was it failed and it's going that's going to be stored in success and then the frame itself is going to be stored in image so I'm going to check if it was successful so I'm going to say uh, if not uh, success means you are not able to read the frame you're just going to break out of this loop great so once we have that done uh, I can simply go ahead and actually specify the other arguments okay so I can go ahead and add for the first thing we need to do is we need to pre-process our image pre-process image so we need to pre-process our image before sending the image for other uh, other acti activities so I'm going to say results and I'm going to, uh, results is going to be a uh, post detection now I need to create an object for this uh, an instance of the post uh, post uh, de detection module so I'm going to say post uh, underscore detector uh, I'm just going to say uh, mp uh, mp dot uh, mp underscore post dot uh, post so this is going to instantiate that for us so i'm going to provide in some uh, give some set of parameters in here and you can feel free to ignore these parameters if you want but i want to provide in these parameters okay uh, i think the f uh, let's just leave it for now we'll come back to see what effect that those parameters have okay so i'm just going to use the post uh the score detector dot um i'm going to say that you're going to simply going to say dot uh you're simply going to say dot uh pre-process so pre-process uh, so it brought, uh pre process so the uh, process let me get the spelling of process right so pre process what I'm going to uh, pass in you're going to first convert the image into a BGR scale because by default uh, uh open CV, when you open an image with you using open CV the scale is a uh, RGB scale sorry a BGR scale so we want an RGB scale so we're going to do that here so we're going to say CV2 dot uh, CVT cvt color so convert color and you want to say the source it's going to be the image and then you want to say cv2 what you want to take it to so cv2 dot uh, uh i'm going to say cv2 dot color and then i'm going to say uh a color underscore b g r 2 r g p just like that so this is going to do the color conversion for us and it's going to convert this image into the the desired uh, color color uh, scale that you want and it's going to pre-process uh, the image so it's going to pre-process the image and it's going to be stored in a variable called result and once we have the pre-process image you can go ahead and actually do something you can check if there's any human detected so if not uh results uh results dot post underscore uh landmarks so landmarks Okay, if the post landmark is not there, we just want to continue and go to the next frame, just like that. You can uh, use your own logic if you want, but I don't think there's any point of pro, uh, checking for an uh, uh, checking, doing any other f uh, processing or any other steps in if you know that the uh, the the landmarks for the human post don't exist in the first place. So, yeah, so that's what my logic is, and feel free to use your own logic. So I'm going to say uh, drawing, any uh, uh, drawing dot. Uh, drawing mp drawing dot uh, draw landmarks we're going to say draw underscore landmarks uh, landmarks and it is going to be a function so we call this function and inside here i'm going to write in my image uh, the image uh, the image that we just got and then i'm going to say result dot uh, results uh, results dot uh, i'm going to say pause underscore landmarks okay and then i can also go ahead and do uh, mp underscore uh, pause uh, dot uh, this is going to be uppercase so this will be pause underscore connection 
connections okay just like that and you can go and actually uh do a land uh like this lower case so this is gonna be a landmark uh landmark underscore drawing so a landmark drawing uh drawings uh underscore you're going to say spec so it's going to be spec so say spec here and this is going to be equal to the following so i'm going to say mp underscore dot uh drawing so mp drawings uh drawings uh drawing this actually drawing uh drawing underscore style dot we want to do the following dot get and i want to go and get the following i want to get uh default uh get sorry this is not be a function get default uh underscore default underscore post underscore landmarks okay underscore style just like that so once you can just call this function so you say landmark underscore drawings uh underscore landmark drawing and uh, underscore spec is going to be mp draw uh mp drawings dot uh, underscore styles dot get default post landmark style okay just call that and once we have that we can simply go ahead and display the image so you can do cv2 dot uh cv2 dot i am sure and i'm simply going to say uh, image and i'm going to pass in my image right here and then i'm going to do if uh i'm going to do uh, the ability to close this so i'm going to do simply check the ability to close i'm going to say if uh cv2 dot um wait key so i'm going to say dot wait key dot wait key i'm going to pass in one and uh you can say and zero x f f equals equals to old and then you're going to pass in q so if a person press the q we just want to break out of this loop so that's what that uh part does so it's just checking if a person is pressing the q key and then we just want to break out of that loop okay and then if you break i want to release the camera so i want to say the capture object and say uh dot release and then uh c cv to uh cv to dot destroy destroy all windows great so this is what we have done so far so i'm just i just commented quickly i'm just going to uh, run this code and i'm going to come back and explain to you each of these steps so let me just go ahead and actually run the code so uh, i'm just going to do a uh, python 3 and then i call it basics okay run that so this is going to go ahead and actually open that up for us so I actually i didn't activate my virtual environment so let me just go back uh so i'm going to activate my virtual environment and make sure that your virtual environment is activated so i'm going to change back the directory into there and then i'm going to do python 3 and then uh basic pi so once i run that it's going to go ahead so we have uh, mp solutions okay so i have an error right there so uh i have an error here so mp it's supposed to be mp uh mp and dot solutions okay so my bad for that and i hope i haven't made any more errors so once i run this uh we have another error here so result.post landmarks okay i got the spelling wrong here so uh, uh i think i got the spell here yeah landmarks so that's it so i hope i haven't made any more errors okay so let's, let's go and uh, clear the terminal and try to run this one more time So it, it might take a bit of time to run because I'm running this on a CPU laptop. So you can see it's a quite a big image, right? So before I want, what I want to do is I want to first, uh, I want to scale the image before uh, displaying it. So I want to go ahead and actually scale the image. So let's go ahead and do that right here. So uh, just go here. You can just, when, after reading the image, you can say the image equals to uh, CV2 dot uh, resize. And I'm going to provide in the parameters to resize. So I'm going to say image, and then I'm going to provide in, uh, I'm going to say 640 by uh 500 okay 640 by 500 you can use any dimension you want but as long as you can see the content that you want to view so once i run this again um you can see it's detecting the human there and you can detect the different human postures and all of that so great now this works okay let's go back and try to understand the different details about this so we just do the basic setup and import all of this uh and did all the imports here 
we did the imports here we did a basic setup here we created an instance of the post detection uh, module and then we we, op we activated the uh, capture object and we will specify the part of the video so if you want this to be a web camera maybe you want to detect this on your web camera you can feel free to put in here zero or you can try one it depends on which camera uh, which computer you're on so let's try any integer value from zero between zero and three and see which one works for you because if you have multiple cameras connected then you might have an issue identifying uh, which of the uh, IDs to use. So let's try between 0 and 3 and it should be fine. Else, if you want to do and uh, read a video file, we have to find the part of the video in here. So once we do that, you're going to read the each frame and you're going to uh, resize the image. So let's just let me move this one down because in case you're not able to read, then you cannot be able to resize, right? So uh, we check if it's, uh, it has been able to read it and then you're going to resize it using this value. So once we have that resizing done, what I'm going to do is now we're going we went and ahead and did the pre-processing whereby we process the image and change it from a BGR scale to an RGB scale because by default CV2 uses a BGR scale and we want an RGB image. So we did the pre-processing here and once we have that we check if there are any uh, 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 post uh, post landmarks detected if there are no we go to the next frame okay because we don't want to do any of this in, in case we don't have the the post landmarks okay because we get an error right here so once we have that done we can just go ahead and say uh, mp drawing which is specified from here we come from solutions on drawing utils uh we just say that mp draw we specify the image that you want to draw on and then we specify the land different landmarks and then we specify the post connection we want to connect all the different parts and we specify the landmark drawing specs right here so once we have those specified and uh, the, the data is going to be drawn on the image now we have the image with the data drawn on it so we just did a cv2 uh, uh cv2.im show and we show the image to the end user okay great so that all works so let's go ahead and try to see uh, let me just print out something so i'm going to print uh results uh results and let's see what is inside results so let me just run this one more time let's go ahead and, and inspect what's inside of results because you're using, saying uh you see this is what is inside of results we're getting this class back okay this is what is inside of results so to quit this i'm just gonna press q on my keyboard because you are listening for the q key right here okay so you can say landmarks and you can copy this and simply do uh, results dot and paste this in here and now we can run this code again and this time let's see what we get so i've just cleared my terminal and run the code again so you can see it's returning to us the different the different x y and z value of each of those uh individual specs so if you can go back to the media or media pipe of your documentation you can read more about this so you can even check this out so you can just go here uh do uh, go to python and you can read about all these specs so let me just go ahead and close this so now because i'm not using it uh just go to uh media pipe python and then i uh, want to detect something so let me just go here uh let me try to find uh just media pipe on python uh sorry i clicked the wrong on python and then this way and i'm looking for let me just scroll down here a few moments later okay so i just went to get started and click on get started and then click on python and uh, from there you go to scroll down a bit and then you can see uh we are looking at the the post detection so you can click on the post detection right here and then you can see the different uh the, the different uh, values that you have so let me just scroll down here so they give you all the values so you can go ahead and look in the terminal and you can compare these values right here so let me just minimize this you can compare these values with what you are given here for example that uh you, you have the different values so you can use those values to track the different positions of each auto so you can just give each of these an index and then you can track it that way depending to know which uh which of those comes uh which of those values are which right how they relate with the values from in here so you can use that to track the different parameter uh, the different uh points on the on the human body and you can be able to build your own application out of this maybe you're building an application that can detect if a person is walking or some other application so yeah that's basically it so let me just go back to my vs code here so one thing you can also uh we can also do let me just comment this out for now one we can one we can also do is actually flip the image when you just say flipped underscore image is going to be a cv2 dot flip uh flip so yeah so flip so you're providing the image and then uh you want to flip this image so we want to flip it 
uh, let me just see what you need to pass in here so we need to pass in the flip code so the flip code is the code that we use to uh, specify when flipping the image so i want to i just want to pass in here one so you can read uh, about these values in the official documentation about how to flip an image so that's how you can flip the image and now i want to now display the flipped image so i'm going to paste that in there but i want to flip the image and then do the display right now do the display and then flip the image there's no point so this will give you kind of like a selfie viewpoint right and so uh, uh, if you if you view the image because you are facing the camera so you do not have the kind of like the selfie viewpoint so to get the selfie view viewpoint you have to flip that image so i'm just going back to the terminal clear this and run the code again we get back uh let's run this you get back that uh, that self view kind of image so that's basically it and how to use the uh, uh, media pipe to detect the human posture and in the future videos we can build different application using this so let me know which what you think of building or what you should build late in the future so guys thanks for watching and uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial so far give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel and uh, share this video with anyone who might find it helpful so thanks for watching i'll uh, see you in the next one keep safe